In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a creature using some modeling, a different modeling technique called Metaball, and also how to do some sculpting. So this is kind of the creature that I created with this technique, and I'm going to show you how to do this. And <clears throat> I kind of use it to do a, a little bit of a base. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a new document. First thing I'll do is click X to remove that object, and then I'm going to go up to the Add menu and choose what is called Metaball. And there's a couple different options here. I'm just going to use this ball. And what that does, that gives you a <clears throat> nice little uh, circle to work with. And the easiest way to do this is if you press Shift D to duplicate, and you have this over here too, but it's a little bit easier with the hotkeys. Shift D to duplicate. Uh, it'll allow you to kind of pull it out and duplicate to kind of create uh, kind of a base of a body or something like that. Um, <clears throat> when I do this, I, I do like to go onto a straight view to start off with. So I'll go onto a front view. And I'll go ahead and do Shift D to duplicate. And if you want to pull it straight along an axis, either press X, Y, or Z right after you press a Shift D. And that'll allow you to kind of pull it along that axis uh, on there. Um, when I want to do the, my legs, I'll probably have to go out a little bit. Uh, and do another shift D. So shift D. I'll just kind of pull that out to the side here a little bit. And then uh, if you want to grab more than one at a time, you can select one of these circles, hold down shift, and select another one, shift D, and that can pull out two at the same time uh, if you want to try that little technique. And I'll kind of go to this opposite side, shift D to duplicate uh, to start to get that piece. Um, shift D to duplicate out the head and I'll press an X to pull it along the axis and I'll also pull out this arrow. If you press S that'll scale it if you need to make it bigger uh, to make the legs. I'll go ahead and hold down shift as I try and select all these these pieces and I'll go ahead and press shift D to duplicate and Z to pull it along that axis. Uh, and everything, and that'll kind of get me uh, a little bit of a base to my character. So once I have that, uh, I'm ready to get out of this mode and kind of play a little bit more with um, a sculpting tool. And to do that, first thing I got to do is just select my object, and then go ahead and do a hotkey. Make your mouse over the top of your object, and if I do an Alt C on my keyboard, there's the hotkey right there and I'm going to just convert it to mesh. That'll allow me to convert it and I no longer can do the whole meta ball thing anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and go into edit mode and if I press A on my keyboard to select all uh, I need to add a little bit more geometry to this so I can actually use the sculpt tool a little bit better. So in edit mode I can click on subdivide once or twice depending on how much um, how many subdivisions you want to deal with. Once I have that, then I'll jump down here to sculpt mode, um, and then I'm ready to use some of the sculpting tools. So the way the sculpting tools work is you, if you click on this, it shows you some different tools. Right now I'm on this F sculpt draw, and there in here you can uh, change the radius, the size of this circle. You can also play with the strength. Uh, and then you've got add and subtract on some of them. So if I want to subtract to kind of make the eye sockets, and then I'll just go ahead and click and drag, kind of move around and click and drag, I can start to mold this character a little bit. If I want to pull something out, I can just go ahead and click and drag. So I'm kind of clicking and dragging with my left mouse. Uh, and it's always good to kind of look to see what you're doing from different points of view when you're using this type of a tool. You want to do kind of a, a mouth, I can do that too. So um, if I want to change the tool, if I want to try and add some spikes, maybe I'll come, come into this grab and add some spikes and maybe some ears. So get the right point of view. And you can kind of pull out on there and just kind of see how it looks from other angles uh, and everything. And maybe I'll uh, make that a little bit bigger and make some spikes in here 
flip around to the other side and just kind of keep going in there. So there's some people really like to use this tool and it can do some fun stuff. It's like molding some clay uh, on there. So that's the sculpt tool and the uh, Metaball uh, tool that you can use.